Well, impeccably observed there. The mid side from Brian Murdoch as the Harriers uh, players line up away to our left in this second period, just uh, in this uh, first half, rather. The uh, captain, Luis Montrose, doing his uh, final pep talk to his team. Ashley Hemmings standing on the ball in the centre of the park. Harriers then defending the goal away to our left. Hemmings had made a good run there, but uh, Maxwell was slow and deliberate as he walked the ball over the halfway line. And it's now with Max Taylor. Harriers finding that they are again being uh, trying to create space against the side who are quite compact. Lovely ball in from Moyo, and it's met at the far post very nearly by Sterling. But Moyo's delivery was a good one. Fullback Waters and his uh, centre half partner Stokes. Harriers again trying to draw the midfield out as Montrose has been given dispossessed, given the ball away. And a chance now for Cameron, uh, for Curzon Ashton, who get the ball in the uh, danger area, but Ayibo. As Harriers build again on that left hand side, Richards into Maxwell. Hemmings has made a run cross field. Moyo's gone into the uh, wide berth to support him. Ball in towards Austin, who's sprinted between two. Feeds it to Moyo. Lovely build up play here. Curzon on the back foot. Play back to Amari Sterling. Curls the ball towards Hemmings, who gets the header in, and it's taken by the keeper. And that was, uh, again, good build up play from Harriers on this occasion. As the ball's down the line again. Good ball into the centre this time. Oh, it's ricocheted into the path. A good opportunity. Great block, though by Taylor. Taylor. Morgan Smith it is, who was uh, attempted. Good header in there by Maxwell. Morgan Smith gets it down to Austin. Austin turns in towards Morgan Smith. Austin again into the area, but his uh, foot goes in, and it's then hacked clear up to the halfway line. Curzon Ashton uh, is coming under a bit of pressure there, you feel, as they're trying to maintain their discipline. Harry is just knocking the ball about again. Montrose into the path of Hemmings on the uh, far side. Oh, Hemmings has gone for one there. And he's hammered it from 30 yards out, left-footed. Taylor drilling the ball to Moyo, who can just flick it into the path of Hemmings. Now he is in Curzon territory. Hemmings on a run again, steps in field where it's very, very congested. Austin doing well, though. Austin with a shot, and Austin with a goal! Whoa, a goal out of the blue from Sam Austin. Hey, he's uh, jumping for joy there. There was a cry of handball from the Curzon players who were going to surround the referee. But Austin it was, the ball broke for him, it dropped nicely and he almost sort of lob volleyed it, catching Cam Mason off guard. And Harriers on 35 minutes have taken the lead here. Sam Austin with the opening goal. Half-time Gloucester 1, Farsi Celtic 1. Half-time Leamington 2, York 1. And half time, spending more nil. Bradford won as Harriers play the ball in. He's going to drop in again. Oh, almost the touch. Just wanted the touch from Amari Morgan Smith, but. Uh, near side for Harriers, but Harriers it is with the throw in. And it's Richards. As uh, Sterling breaks away from the. Oh, good turn there. Left the defender for dead. Sterling shot. Oh, he's hooked him with the outside of his boot, and it's sliced away from goal. Sterling it is. Angle ball towards uh, Hemmings, headed away. Helped away by Pocchio, dropped down in the middle of the park, and now the break is on. No. Blocked off there immediately by Moyo. Takes a deflection off Montrose. Pocchio's clearance is only as far as Richards, who takes the ball down away from Knowles. Knowles behind him. Good work this from Richards. Into Austin. Austin, quick feet. Angles it across to Moyo. Moyo lining one up and letting one go from 30 yards. But it's wide, but well, that's the first real opportunity of the second half in the 52nd minute. Stokes it is getting out to that far side. Ball driven forward. Low stands his ground. Knowles chasing it. Knowles wanting the ball in the middle. He's come off his man here. Played across to Knowles. Knowles with the shot, and it's wide of the target. Hansen. In again to. The lively walker who hasn't stopped running to be fair for the hope for the visitors as it's played into the middle. Oh Taylor sliced it. Could cause a bit of a problem. Good uh, save from Simpson who gets back under pressure from uh, Dominic Knowles. Whitton. Whitton again chesting it down. The ball ricocheting into the area. The shot comes in, it's deflected. Not away. It's turned in, is it? Oh, it's turned wide. 
by Dominic Knowles. Long throw. Right into the middle of the area. Good work there from Kellerman. The ball drops down. Harriers haven't got it away yet. Played out to the far side. Shot comes in. It's blocked by Lowe. And Moyo's there with the clearance, knocking the ball out into the east end. In fact, right into the back of Rosette. And this hasn't come back down. So they've raced to go and get the ball, which is down on the touchline. And now it's Tommy who's gone to the far side to go and launch this ball in. Harriers have got to be mindful of the danger. Long ball in. Over the head, oh, it's taken a bit of a knock, oh, and it's volleyed over the top by um, Hansen. Good block there from Kellerman. Chested down by Posher, up and under. That was offside against the player who's actually trying to go for the ball there. It's, it's driven in, and it's come off Taylor, and it's taken by Simpson. And surely that is it. We've had the four minutes of added time, and Harriers have been hanging on for grim death. Harriers will just about hold on. We think Simpson's got the ball in his gloves, his yellow shirt. The referee standing on the centre circle looks at his watch. But no, it continues. Harriers going forward. That is the final whistle. Sam Austin's goal. Ten minutes before the first half interval gives Harriers another victory. It's eight unbeaten for Harriers as they continue their assault towards the top of the table. Second place in the table, ahead of Fylde on goal difference, but more importantly, Gloucester's defeat at home to Farsley closes that gap now, and Harriers, well, they'll be delighted. A final scoreline here from Agra. Kidamis Harriers 1, Curzon Ashton 0.